Morning guys. Uh, I say morning, it's actually afternoon. Um, so it's Sunday. I worked sat or I worked Friday and Saturday. I pulled an overtime shift, so I worked 40 hour 48 hours straight. Um, but uh, I got my goodies in. This is the dampening material. Um, it's it's specifically made for what I'm doing. And then I've got all my leading stuff here. That's the lead. I've got the uh, anti-heat compound. And what that is, from what I understand, it's like Play-Doh. Uh, you soak it up with water and you knead it up. And then like I'm going to put it basically up here to keep the heat uh, from going up and trying to warp the, the panel up here. Because I, from what I understand, you put a lot of heat on this when you're doing this. So that's my goal with that. I uh, had to give a little bit extra money for it, but I think it'll be worth worth it, you know, if it uh, saves some metal from warping. And I got my tinning butter here. Uh, then you got a round paddle, a flat paddle. Um, I bought. I forgot how many pounds this is. This is a quarter pound of stick, and I think that's five sticks, maybe. No, that's more than that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I bet there's ten sticks there. And then I bought three extras just in case I screw this up real nice. Um, and then the tallow, and that's what you put your paddle in and condition it, basically, so that the uh, lead doesn't stick to your paddle. So... I've got to prep this up. This the part that I'm getting ready to do is, from what I understand, the most important part. Um, I've never done this before, so I'm going to take you along with me on it. And I've had several people ask to to make a full video. So, you know, as I'm going, you want to fast forward through some of it while I'm just sitting here adding material or whatever. But uh, I've got to get all this down to bare metal. I got to clean that metal really well. Um, get it all, you know, conditioned up good to where I can put the, uh, the tinning butter on it. And I've got my propane torch is what I'm going to use, which I have another, the big torch over there, but I thought, you know what, that'd be easier to, to deal with. I've seen guys do use those. So if it, if that works for what I'm doing, then that's just what I'll do. If it's not hot enough, then I'll go get my torch and use it. But anyway, uh, and like I said, I got this stuff here so I could go ahead and put it in. Uh, up in there. I need to clean that stuff up real good though So I'm gonna have to get in there and probably do some work before I do that, but I've been kind of excited to try this And so I'm gonna go ahead and wax and grease remove this the way it sits right now Make sure I get any crap off the surface. Then I'll start with my grinder take uh, probably 50 grit disc and, and, and Take it all the way down around this uh, clean it up real good and uh, then re-clean it again and clean it and clean it clean it until it's just freaking spotless. I'll probably wire wheel a lot of this stuff in these little pits and little areas like that. Get them all cleaned up real good to where it's nice shiny metal. So I'm going to do that. I'm not going to take you along for that. i got to plug the camera in. It's getting ready to go dead. And uh, so I'll bring you back. Everybody knows how to clean their, their metal up. So um, all right. I'll bring you back when I start this deal. See you. Hey guys, so use this. I, I cleaned it um, real good with wax and grease remover. Then I stripped it down with this disc here just to get it like that. Um, then I wire wheeled it with this. And of course one of these uh, come out and stuck right in my forehead, which my wife was laughing because I didn't know and she pulled it out of my forehead. She goes, what's this? And I was like, yeah, it's a wire out of the wire wheel. Um, so now what I'll do is I'm going to clean the metal real good with um, 180. I'm going to get all this cleaned up real good with 180. And then I'm going to go back over it with 80 real good. Then, <laughs> that's going to sound like overkill. Then I'm going to dress it with my with a brand new roll lock with 50, 50 grit down to where I'm going to do and then let it blend out into the 80 grit basically. Um, so, and then I'm going to clean it really good with wax and grease remover again and then I'll start the tinning process and start putting my stuff on there. So that's, 
that's kind of my plan. That's what I've seen other guys doing when they do it. Um, and like I said, hopefully this is this is the the way to go as far as uh, getting it cleaned up. All right, guys, I'll bring you back in a minute. All right, guys, there it is. Um, I'm gonna move this gear over. Maybe you can see it better. Here, I've got this set up on my little rollable stand. But uh, went and cleaned it like I said. Did all the everything like I said I was gonna do, and then went ahead and run it with 50 grit. That's 50 grit in there. Uh, and had this 80 down, but I went ahead and brought this down just in case I can always 80 that back out if I I want to make sure I had plenty of you know uh, area to be able to, to spread that all out uh, and blend it in. So I'm hoping that I can keep the lead pretty close to just this gap here, right in this area. But if I have to pull it down a little bit, you know, I'll have it'll be grabbing a hold of it. So all right. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to uh, let that sit for a minute. I went ahead and, and uh, wax and grease remove it one more time with the uh, waterborne wax and grease remover. Blew it out real good. I'm going to let it sit and make sure it all evaporates out good. I'll probably take my heat gun real quick, run over it one time, make sure it, you know everything's real good and evaporated. Uh, then I'm going to tin it up. I'll bring you back when I start that process. All right, guys. So. You see the putty up on top? That's the stuff that I got that it says it protects up to 3,000 degrees. From what I'm understanding, it will not go past that, the heat, no matter how hot. Uh, especially with propane torch, it's not going to get, you know, that hot. But just a little extra precaution, protection, whatever. Um, got my tinning butter out, got it mixed up. Uh, used the stir stick, mixed it up real good. Learned that from Cecil something 67 or I can't remember but he was saying make sure you, you uh, mix that up real good because it could cause him problems so thank you for that if you're if you're watching Got a little acid brush here and uh, we'll just start covering her up That's pretty thick stuff. Seems like it'd be a little thinner than that, but like I said I've never done this, so I have no clue. No clue what what I'm expecting here, or to what to expect here, I guess. Says the tin way beyond what you think you're gonna uh, lead, just in case, because uh, the lead will not stick if it hadn't been tinned. So if you run it, and you run it up on the bare steel, it's just gonna peel right off. Now, again, everything I'm telling you is what I've watched. No one's ever taught me how to do this, other than the guys on YouTube who have done it: James Freddy's, uh, Cecil. I think there's a guy called This Old Garage, maybe I watched his video. Uh, there's a couple other ones that I've watched the videos and uh, before I attempted to try this. Um, I think Eastwood sells a video on how to do it. I didn't buy that video because I felt pretty confident with the information that I got from YouTube uh, that I would be able to do this just fine. 
I also watched some videos. There's a guy named Bill Hines uh, that's on YouTube. James Freddy's had me watch another guy, and I can't remember his name exactly right top of my head. Uh, the Bill Hines video was pretty old, but he was like, I'm going to guess he's probably in his 70s or 80s, the guy that I ended up watching, uh, which is pretty cool that he's still doing it, still able to do it. Um, but I'm sure he's done it his whole life, so that's uh, it's like riding a bicycle probably. But... I don't know if I'm putting this shit on here too thick or too... I mean, it's all pretty thick, but... Like I said, I don't... Never done it, so I don't know. Just watch guys do it, and they do... Like I said, it looked like it was thinner, though, when... On the videos that I watched, but... I don't, I don't think you're supposed to heat it up first. I don't think... Uh... Maybe applied to cold metal then heat it. So, there you go. And it's about 68 degrees out right now. But ultimately, you know, for painting that all matters. For a lot of things that matters. Uh, but for this, obviously I'm going to heat it with a torch. So, my assumption is that it doesn't matter at all for this. It's going to get, the metal's going to get hot as hell. So. You also want to kind of heat your, your uh, it's called tallow. And let me spin you around here. I've never done this either. So, gonna take you along for this. in here we got this light on I think that is covering what I needed to cover um, so this is the tallow right here and these are the paddles I'm gonna use a flat paddle I probably won't use this one um, because I'm just smashing it in there flat and, and working it um, but I saw one video that the guy used, uh, I think it was one of the old timers. He used a pair of jeans to, to basically put the tallow on here and I forgot what you call it, but you're basically, I can't think of the word for it, but anyway, you'll see what I'm getting ready to do. So you wanna heat your tallow up a little bit. it up is what he was saying just so it kind of liquefies a little bit that's what it's doing there that's pretty good now you're going to take your paddle kind of put it in there hope you got enough on it try again I'm going to flip this upside down because it's not going to probably kick off on me I've got most of it wet. So, now you want to kind of heat that up. Get all this excess crap off here. This is basically to keep your lead from sticking. Okay? And then you start kind of doing that number on it. I 
uh, get your excess off there. I'm probably going to do this a couple of times uh, just to make sure it's good and whatever you call it, I can't think of the damn word. The way it works when you get old. Or at least the way it works for me. So my wife's gonna have to put me in the Alzheimer, Heimer, Heiner, whatever the hell it is, Alzheimer's facility down the street. Come visit me, cause I'm probably gonna be stripping my clothes off and running around naked through the neighborhood. All right. So the paddle looked really white and clean, but you can see there, kind of yellowed out and kind of. Uh, a little different color, so I'm hoping that is good enough. We'll see. So we'll move this back out of the way. And uh, we're pretty much ready. Got my lead sticks here. I think they said take two and a half sticks of lead per side if, you, if you're doing it right. And there's one. Two. Like I said, I bought three extras just because I thought, you know what, I've got a learning curve here and I'm probably going to screw this up. So uh, We'll see. So I need to get my respirator and when I come back, put my respirator on, I'll flip the camera back, I'll have the camera back around. Um, actually, I probably don't need my respirator, respirator for the, the, the tinning part of it. So let's go ahead and tin it. Let me spin it around. So, uh, so they got me a shirt, just a t-shirt, and I'm going to start uh, wiping this stuff away as it heats up. Never done this before either, so bear with me. Kind of starting to turn yellow there. I'm also starting to burn my putty up. <laughs> okay, I see it turning like real bright silver. That's what we're after. Hopefully my arm, no, nope, my arm's right in the damn way, isn't it? Sorry about that. I'm kind of coming this direction, maybe. I said, see it turning yellowish? That's what you're after. And as you wipe away, it turns shiny. Oh, shit. Yeah, we didn't want that. Well, see what I just did? First thing went wrong. I run my crap off into it, all my putty shit up here. So I'm gonna turn this off for a second. That's fantastic. I'm gonna grab a paper towel, wipe that off, and retin it.
All right, I'm gonna start over. I don't like the way that was going, so I re uh, retend it, and uh, I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try not to get that damn metal so hot this time. And I changed my rag to like a washcloth because that shirt was dragging down into the rest of my stuff, and I don't like that either. I can tell you for sure I got plenty of tinning butter on it. There's no doubt about that. I don't know if you can put too much on it or not, but if you can, I have. So let's see what happens with that.
be aware when it gets that small, it starts to burn the shit out of your hands. Well, these sticks obviously aren't what I thought they were as far as big goes. Because I've already used almost, well, this will be my third stick.
So you guys tell me what you think, especially the guys that have done this. Did it look like it was uh, doing what it's supposed to do, sticking, uh, all that kind of stuff because, like I said, I've never done it before, so I have no clue what it's supposed to look like, what it's supposed to do. Um, I got it as smooth as I can get it. Um, I'm sure with practice, you know, if I did this for 20 years, I'd have it down to where I could, you know, barely have to file it at all. But said first time, not sure what I'm looking for, not sure what it's supposed to do. So you guys let me know what you think. And if I have to redo it, let me know and I'll redo it. Um, I used one, two, three, four, five, five, and maybe just a little bit of another stick. Um, to do that whole seam, and that's 3070 lead. Um, so those are, I think those are quarter quarter pound sticks maybe each, but uh, I may have undershot it a little bit, but let's see. I've got six more, if I can do the same, then I should have enough to do the other side. Uh, maybe I'll be a little better at the other side. Um, this is, hell, the metal's almost cold up through here so I'm gonna need to take that off there and put it back in the can before it dries out so much that it's worthless but uh I'm not sure if this is where I take the baking soda soda water solution and try to wipe the excess acid stuff off there um, so I'm probably gonna let that cool for a little bit and it's actually pretty cool right now um, and I'll probably wipe that down that way it doesn't flash rust real bad or acid etch into it or whatever it does. I'm not sure what it even does. So, all right, guys, well, let me know what you think. I'll see you. Hey, guys, one more look at it. I just went ahead and filed. And you can see how it ghosted in here. Uh, right here, it's a little bit low. Um, and you can see it ghosted, ghosted, ghosted. It looks all good through here. It's nice and smooth. I've done nothing but file this. Uh, i got to file this some more. Hopefully that's a ghost out. Uh, same here. It's ghosted in up here, but it's not here. And I'm also already hitting the middle, so I think that's a little bit low right here. Uh, Sorry, I didn't really want to breathe this stuff. I just finished doing it. But uh, I was kind of afraid that might happen if I didn't put enough in there. And uh, it just, it's basically hitting the metal. It's got a low spot right here, which more than likely I can fill that because I'm going to epoxy it and then I'm going to put some filler over it. So that'll probably cover with filler. And that's just real whatever. But um, hopefully the rest of it's feathers out good because I got a lot of fat, I'm pretty fat through here. Unless it got a little thin right there and then right here. But for the most part, uh, looks like it's sticking real nice. I mean, it feathered out good. I think if it wasn't going to stick, it would have just probably popped off when I started filing on it. So, uh, but I'm done for tonight. It's 9 or 8.30. I'm sweating like a pig. That's uh, quite a bit of work to file that with a file. Uh, I feel like I got it relatively smooth. Probably not like the experts do, but for me, I did. And it's still a lot of work, just so you know. Uh, a lot of elbow grease. But yeah, I gotta finish all this up through here, but you can see the, the difference in the transition here and especially through here. So anybody that knows this stuff, uh, Jeff, this little spot like this, not very big. Can I just go ahead and kind of sand that down a little bit and uh, just give it a tooth in here and spray my epoxy over it and then go ahead and uh, do me a, a thin filler coat over that. Uh, if not, I can retin that, heat it back up, and fill it with lead. You tell me what you think. Uh, you tell me if uh, I did it right or if I need to redo it or whatever. And so uh, I'll talk to you when you uh, when you let me know. Thanks. Bye.